Keith McKinley. Okay, so the first time I met Jerry Fontanez, I think it was around 1980-81, and it was at a tournament at the Manhattan Center in New York City. It was a tournament given by George Creighton. I was about, I don't know, 17, 18, and I was fighting in the black belt division. And I remember Jerry because he ran around the whole tournament all day, but it was time for the black belts to fight. He watched the division very closely, and you could tell that he was very interested in fighting and watching the black belts. I didn't know that he was a fighter. But many years later, I saw him in the black belt division, and it was clear from the very beginning that he was very special and that he was a very talented fighter. And Jerry went in the black belt division, I think, when he was like 16 or 17 years old, and he began to win as soon as he entered the division. But I remember him right before he started fighting in black belt division, maybe around 1980, 81. What's the second question? What's the most memorable moment? Well, the most memorable moment that I have with Jerry Fontanez is when my team at the time, Philadelphia National Karate Team, was fighting his team. Um, we were in a team fight, and I think the Philadelphia team, we were up, and it was pretty clear that all we had to do was finish one match, and we were going to win the team fight. This is my recollection. But what I recall is that in Jerry's match against my heavyweight, uh, my heavyweight dropped his hands on the stop call and Jerry hit him, pretty much knocked him out. Well, both of our teams started fighting each other and we never finished the team fight. But the reason I remember that is because Jerry did what most leaders do. His team was down on points, so he did something to change the momentum. So we never were able to, to finish the team fight, so no team was ever declared a winner. I remember because I thought my team was going to win, but unfortunately, because of the way it went down, no team was declared the winner. And I think Jerry did that on purpose. So I remember that. And the third thing? Um, what do you think about him coming back and re uh, I, I think it's good that Jerry him. is uh, coming back because Jerry, in my opinion, is one of the most knowledgeable point fighters that I've ever seen. And the funny thing is Jerry was very knowledgeable as a very young fighter. It usually takes fighters years to develop the kind of knowledge that Jerry possessed very early. So I think that Jerry has something to offer this generation of fighters because he brings a very classical knowledge of point fighting. So I'm looking forward to seeing him out there because he's one of the most intelligent fighters that ever did the sport. And, um, and, he, and without a doubt, Jerry would make my top 10 list. If I was to pick 10 of the best fighters I've seen, Jerry would be in my top 10 in any generation. Okay? Thank you very much.